What's up you guys? Today I'm going to be doing a video on some um, faux freckles or DIY freckles. Um, for me, this actually, I have real freckles. I am super pale skin. I'm Irish. I have a ton of freckles, but I feel like this is maybe how it is for a lot of people. Once you actually put like all of your makeup on, obviously in like a foundation, especially if it's more full coverage, it covers your freckles. Um, so for me, these aren't even like necessarily like faux freckles because I do have real freckles. They just don't show through my foundation once I have all my makeup on. Um, but these are the two, I'm going to show you two different ways of how to apply these freckles and they're just the ways that I found have worked the best and what I like and how I like how they look. So I'm going to do one of them on this side of my face and the other on this side of my face. Um, so without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into the video. Um, obviously I have all the rest of my makeup done. This is a step that I do at the very end if I decide to do it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, so a product that I find that has worked really well for me to do um, my faux freckles is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I'm sure you could use that um, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, because this is like a very good dupe for it. The reason I like this formula is it's very gel-like and because it is so, so, so tiny, the little, like, it's probably I would say half the size of like an eyeliner pencil, which sometimes can be too big, which is key for me. So um, I'm gonna start with this side. I'm gonna do this on my right side of my face, which will be the left side of the face to you guys. Um, and I will do it on this side of my face and then I'll show you the other way. So what I start out doing is I just roll it out and the key for me to doing faux freckles trying to get into my room. Uh, the key for me to doing faux freckles is to keep it a ton. Like don't spend too much. You don't want to make them look perfect. Real freckles in real life are really like disfigured and they're not perfect circles. So do a lot of them and do them very quickly and don't spend a lot of time like trying to get each one perfect. So for me, this was what I would do is just do go in and just start and I, I don't know if you can tell, obviously, it's already it's already working. Um, and I'm not even like, I do like it's just a tiny little twist just to kind of like get it more pigmented. But I'm not spending a ton of time like drawing them on by any means. I'm just dabbing this right onto my face. And you definitely want to get your nose. And sometimes you will actually get one that's a little disfigured. You can rub it off though. It's, that's what I also like about this is because it's gel, it does stay. But at the same time, if you make a mistake, it's really easy to kind of like wipe it away, which you know, if you're using like a um, an eyeliner pen, sometimes that can be difficult. Um, but the thing about freckles is people that really have them, they have normally a decent amount of them. So you want them to be kind of scattered. You don't want them to be perfect. You want it to be very kind of like randomly placed and a decent amount of them. I feel like especially in the summertime freckles just look so cute and especially it's it's a very unique look because having freckles on top of a makeup look already it's like they're it's like your skin already looks perfected but you have freckles so it's kind of like that illusion which is kind of weird um, All right, I'd say that's enough for that side of the face. And what's really nice about this is it's really easy to fix. If for some reason you go a little too overboard, I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Or if you think that they don't look well, well placed or anything like that, you can always go in and change them a little bit. So the second method I'm gonna use is I'm gonna be taking my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, and this is in soft brown, and I'm just gonna be taking a eyeliner pencil. This, I think, work, like lasts a little bit longer on the skin. Like these will fade. That's why I feel like this is a really natural kind of way of doing it because these will actually like fade throughout the day. They look, they just look really, really natural, but this fades a little bit, whereas the other, I feel, stays a little bit, um, a little bit more precise and um, it stays longer. So I'm just going to pick a little, this brush is really great. This is the, um, I use this for my eyeliner. It's the Sephora Pointed Liner uh, Precision O2. 92 brush um just from sephora but i love this because it comes you probably can't tell because right now it kind of has like fuzzies but um normally it comes to a really pointed like tiny little point which is what you need for this because you don't want like a wide um you don't want a wide brush for this And with this method, there is a trick to it a little bit more. I don't know if you can tell how much more pigmented this is. Um, 
So for this method, I definitely do something that I will show you in just a second when I get the amount that I'm looking for. You don't want to do this too hard. You just want to kind of like lightly tap. So it looks really messy, but it is a lot more pigmented so you can see it. Um, so this side, I'm not going to do this one, but a technique that I use is I just take my damp beauty, damp beauty blender. Um, and with this, it's already, I've already used this for my foundation in the same day. So it's going to have a little bit of product left and it's still going to be kind of a little tacky on here. And I'm just going to go over And I just went and put a little bit more highlight on because when I do pat it back over, I kind of like took off a little bit of my makeup that I had put on underneath of it. So these are my two ways of doing it. Um, on like a daily basis, I tend to use the NYX Micro Brow because it's just so much easier. Like, and it looks natural. Like you can probably obviously tell it just looks very natural. Um, and it's so easy to do. It takes like 30 seconds. Whereas this one takes a little bit more effort, but this will stay way better. Like this definitely, because it is a pomade and it's not as like gel like this definitely like stays on your face much, much longer. So if you're looking more of like a like longevity, uh, freckles, this is definitely your better option. Um, but anyway, these are my two different ways that I will do freckles. Um, if I decide to do them, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope you maybe got a couple of tips and tricks or a couple of new ideas if you were in the mood to try out freckles. I think it's such a cute kind of trend that is on trend right now. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.